Hi everybody, so I want to do a little bit of a follow-up in regards to the previous footed video that I made regarding the the gay cup scandal, or, <laughs> okay, the, uh, I want to do a follow-up video regarding the, um, uh, the gay, the gay cake scandal, not the gay cup. Anyways, this is, I, I now know why it's back in the spotlight. There's so many, uh, cake scandals, it's like sex scandals, cake scandals, whatever. Uh, this one is involving one in Colorado that's currently in the Supreme Court. This is basically uh, the Masterpiece Cake Shop Limited, uh, owned by Jack Phillips versus Colorado Civil Rights Commission, uh, which is including a couple, Charlie Craig and Dave Mullins. And basically what ended up happening is, uh, this is from, okay, two scenarios here. One of the scenarios is uh, Phillips, the owner of the cake shop, has stated, um, I... One day the couple came in and they wanted, they sat down with him in a room and, and discussed, briefly discussed what they wanted in a cake. And uh, they said that they were getting uh, married. I don't know if it was civil union or married. But uh, immediately uh, after that was disclosed, um, uh, uh, Phillips said, you know, I, I'm sorry, you know, I obviously can't. Uh, I, I will not participate in, in that, you know, I'll, I'll do whatever else you want, but I'm not going to be participating in something that is against my religion. That's basically what happened. So, now the other side of this is that uh, apparently the attorneys are saying that, or not the attorneys, but there's this guy that was a correspondent on CNN. Side note, all of, uh, there's a lot of things being censored these days, you know, I'm, I'm only getting all these results for like major news outlets like CNN, and um, MSNBC, things like that, so it seems like it's, uh, I have to dig hard to find certain things, but I only had a lunch to kind of review this because I want to do a follow-up of the email. Um, basically what's happening is, is uh, th this, this critic, I guess he wrote a book about uh, uh, law and, and I don't know, I'll, I'll probably, I won't. Anyways, this guy made a, a review about, um, or he made a statement saying that no cake design was ever discussed in advance, and that all it was was um, he just right just as soon as they walked in, he just refused service. Well, that contradicts the story um, that J uh, Jack Phillips is stating. You know that there was a conversation about what was expected and what was what was wanted for this service. Now we can come. Con that that guy, that 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 person on CNN went ahead and brought up a scenario from from uh, Marjorie Silva of Azucar Baking in Bakery in Denver, where two groom or where a guy came in or a guy or a woman, I'm sorry, I don't know what which came in and and wanted to have a cake. Uh, two grooms with a red X stating God hates sin. She had refused. I'm reading this. Sorry, these are my notes. Uh, she had refused, but uh, offered a Bible cake uh, plus icing to create whatever message he wanted. And and what this guy is saying is that that was a different scenario because design in um, Marjorie Silva's scenario was actually um, stated, whereas and, and so that was you know right to refuse service because it went against her values and 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 and, and, and uh, beliefs. Whereas the other guy, he nothing was stated. He just prejudged. It doesn't seem like that's the case. I'm pretty sure when you go into a cake shop and you're requesting a service, marriage and gay cake will come up. And at that point, that guy has a right to refuse service if he wants to or not. So this, I I, I would be surprised if the conversation went like this. This is this is the scenario I think they're trying to pull. Um, they walk two guy, two gay guys that are a couple walk to a shop, and the guy automatically notices that that they're gay and says, "I'm sorry, we don't we don't make gay wedding cakes." That's what I think the public has observed it as it as it sounds. That's what I think uh, MSM and and a lot of people are wanting people to believe. However, uh, in order for this to turn to a case, there must have been a scenario where uh, where uh, wedding, gay wedding, and bake us a wedding cake came up in the conversation. I'm pretty sure it went more like this. A uh, gay couple walks in, the guy says, how can I help you? They walk into a room or whatever and they start discussing what they're wanting. At least this came up, at least, I guarantee you. We are getting married, 
both my husband and I, or my, my boyfriend and I are getting married, we'd like to have your services to help make us a cake. At least that. And at least that is well within the scope of of uh, Philip's right to refuse service. It goes against his conviction. You know, he's having to choose between business, um, a business opportunity, and his religious beliefs. Um, if I, okay, in, in any field, if you're forced to do anything because of, um, that goes against your beliefs, I mean, look, there, there's people behind cash registers that, you know, I, I believe that there's some cash registers that if you have a certain religion, I'm not going to mention the religion here, but if you don't want to touch pork and you think it's foul, you will be directed to another line. I'm sorry, but this is this is the exact same thing. If you are participate, if my religion is affected, and I'm saying this in general, not mine, but if a religion, if, if a person's religion is is conflicted with a job, and that guy has the free will to to do the job or not. I would, and he was comfortably well off and, you know, comfortable with his position of not taking the job for any sort of money. Um, he has a right to turn it down. And so with that said, um, this is a non-case. This, this to me is, uh, it, it, I mean, and come on, I mean, and they're hurting the cake business. These guys don't make enough money as it is. I mean, you know, the guy's business cut by uh, about 40% lower and and, uh, you know, now, you know, he can't take vacations or trips, you know, and this guy's a little older. So, you know, it sucks that his income had to go half down because these, these greedy little gay guys were, um, and I can say that because I'm gay. Um, these greedy little gay guys were money hungry and they knew walking into this shop. When you look at this guy's cake shop, there's religious paraphernalia and everything all over the place. These guys knew a money opportunity. I'm, you know, I'm surprised that what's her name? Um, who's the one representing uh, Summer Summer Verbo Virgos or whatever her name is? That God, I can't remember that. Gloria Allred. I'm surprised Gloria Allred is not the one, you know, representing these fuckers. Um, I'm telling you. Okay, as a gay man myself, this is my opinion on the scenario here. I think you guys are fucking assholes. Um, you definitely could have gone somewhere else. You, you definitely could have, um, you did not have to bring it to this level. You're ruining a life. You're ruining this guy's life and his, and his livelihood. You're ruining his family's livelihood. I mean, look, if, if I was forced to make a website for a porn, a porn site, if I was forced, uh, as a web developer, if I was forced to build a torture room, uh, a torture room, uh, as a builder, if I was... If I was forced to service a potential, a potential customer based on my own choice, based against my own choice, that's coercion. That's force. You don't, this is the free market. You do not, you get to decide if you want to service individuals or businesses or not. The law can decide if something is, is against the law, but I mean, your individual rights come into play as well. Um, I... My whole, my whole scenario, my whole picture on this is this: um, the guys were greedy, hungry for money. Uh, they want, they were attention whores. Uh, they decided to go after a business that they knew right from the get-go. As they, as you go in, there's, there's uh, religious literature everywhere. There's Bible phrases. Um, they knew what kind of person this guy was, and they figured it was an opportunity. So that's, that's. And, w and with that, I think that they were seeking an opportunity here. This is not a civil rights issue. This is, oh gosh, and then Colorado civil rights representing them. You guys are, you guys are idiots. This is, this is, these guys were grubbing. This is making headlines. It's nothing more than that. And uh, I, 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 I thought gay people were way above this already. I thought, I thought we as a group went beyond being the victims. In these in this day and age, um, the more that I see all these these um, social justice warriors, these advocates for for tolerance, one way tolerance, not 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 not, not no other way. Um, it's it's a shit storm right now at this point. Um, I side with the with the baker on this. You know, let him have his freedom of association, his his right to his religious expression and belief and practice. Um, you're affecting it at this point, and you're making a big deal out of nothing. Go get your fucking cake somewhere else.
and uh, and uh, sorry, I was just waving somebody through. And that's that's about it. I guess that's where I lie on this subject. And uh, uh, a lot of gay people might be upset with me. I really don't care. I've always been in the uh, the opposite end of a lot of, of of thought for a lot of gay people. I've been a gay guy all my life. I've got my ass kicked it so uh, ass kicked so many times because of it. Um, so I have the medals to go along with it. Today's modern day gay people have no idea what 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 uh, what torture and and. Uh, and getting beat up is like, at least the majority of them don't. They're very, they've gotten everything handed to them. So anyways, I, 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 cl I will close by saying this. Gay people, lesbians, bi genders, whatever the fuck this LGBTQ, LGBTQ 3.14 pi squared thing is now. Um, I'm gonna have to start, I'm gonna have to uh, patent that phrase, that statement. Um, that acronym. <laughs> uh, Get a grip on your lives. Stop playing the victim, and 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 chill out. Let businesses. If if you want to complain about a business, if go to Yelp, go to Google, go to uh, any sort of business website, and and do it civilly. Don't do it in a way that's gonna put the business. You guys obviously were drama queens. I could tell by. I'm judging you by your cover. I saw your pictures. It looks like Andy Dick made friends with um, a Simpsons character. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, uh, Antonio Banderas by, by any means, but I mean, you know, you obviously play the part of dramatics. So, um, I'm pretty sure you guys went in there. He said you guys, and again, this is all hearsay as well. So I don't know if this is even evidence. Uh, but his, his point was that you guys went ahead and, um, overreacted when you were told that you could not, um, that he could not build a cake, make a cake for you. So I, I think that, you need to just uh, really look at your life close. Stop abusing others. Stop thinking that the world revolves around you. And stop making us into second-class citizens. You know, um, God, you're ruining the whole you're ruining the whole equality thing. You're making it about uh, submissive submissiveness and coercion. So, anyways, that's my that's my take on it. Peace out.